Hey, this is Frank here. Um, I posted a clip on my Instagram yesterday and a lot of people loved my color grade. So I thought I'd make a video on how I color grade my footage in DaVinci Resolve. I have the paid version, but the free version is just as good and has everything you need to make a good color grade. So feel free to follow along. Before we jump in, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. You can see there are some color graded clips that I did for the video and these are the raw clips so that you know we can start from the scratch and recreate those color grades. Let's pick a shot. First thing I'm going to do is going to add a bunch of nodes and you'll see why I create these nodes later. In the second node I'll put in a correction LUT from buttery LUTs so that we can have a neutral starting point. It's already looking pretty good, but it can be much better. And the second thing I'm gonna do is go to the second to the last node and add a film LUT. This is the Kodak 2383 D55 LUT. It's built in DaVinci Resolve. So you click it and you're like, whoa, what's happening? This is way too strong. Don't worry about it. Go to key and the uh, key output. Pull the gain down to like 30, 35%. I usually settle around here. Now we have a good starting base. And then go to the first node. I usually like to pull up the gamma a little bit. Pull down the gain, which is the highlight part of the image. And then give it a little bit more contrast. There, that's good. And then a little bit more saturation. Don't go overboard with it. And then in the third node, I can add some looks. I usually like to add a little bit of warmth in that gain. A little cyan and blue in the shadows. And then gamma a little bit to, towards red because that's where the skin tone is. Uh, that looks about good. Let's see what it looks before and after. That's much better. I like a warm look. It's just my personal preference, um, but you can see the difference. Um, a little goes a long way here. One thing that I love to do is to pull the highlight down so that it looks like the camera has more dynamic range. It gives the highlight a very soft look. Um, you can see that's without it, that's with it. And then if you think it's a little bit too dark, you can go to the first node, add some gamma. It's a little push and pull game here. I'm already really happy on how it's turning out, but I usually would do a couple more things to tighten up the image. So I will usually go to the last node and go to color wheels and then go to low range of the shadows and then just put it down. That means whatever you do here, it's only gonna affect the darkest part of the image. So you wanna see the scopes um, and then crush the backs. That gives the image a lot more contrast so that your black is not faded, which I don't like. I like crush my backs. That looks pretty good to me. One more thing you can do to pull your subject out of the frame is to get a mask. So go to a node in between and then do a mask around your subject. Feather it out. Make sure it fits. Actually, I'll go to the first frame. Go to exposure tools and just pull the curves up so you can see we're literally pulling the subject out from the frame and then you can do a outside node which means you're going to be affecting everything that's outside um, your mask so you can 
pull everything down outside of the subject. Last thing you want to track it. So go to tracking and then hit track board. Nice. It was tracked all the way through. Beautiful. Another thing that I like to do after all that is go to blur and move the radius down to like 0.48. What it does is it sharpens up the image. You don't have to do it. This is like the last touches. All right, now we're done with the color grade. We can turn off everything and just see that. Like, wow, what a difference you've made through color grading. I would say you can even do more, but I'm happy with the way it looks. All right, let's move on to the next image. Let's see if we can just um, copy the entire grade. Let's apply a grade. I mean, it looks pretty good. Just look at that. I didn't even do anything. Yeah, I would, I would just leave it like that. Um, maybe the masking is a little bit off. Yep, so we gotta turn off the masking. And I mean, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Next clip. All right, now you can see we need some work adjusting here. Uh, because not every grade is gonna apply to every clip. So uh, let's open up our scopes. We can see it's pretty down. So we need some exposure in here. Pull up the gamma. You can still see their faces are still kind of dark. So let's turn on masking. Let's reset the nose. Let's start from scratch. Let's do two masks. Um, let's get another one, another circle. And lift up the exposure. And that looks pretty good to me. Go to tracking, let's track. It works. Nice, that's tracking too. We got a two perfectly tracking mask that's giving us exposure on their faces so that we can see them. And then go to the outside node and then put them down, 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 down. That looks about right. Let's see what the mask is doing. Like, oh my God, did you see that? This is night and day. Let's turn everything off and then go through what we did in the color grade. So first step is we added a correction LUT. It's already pretty good. And then we added another film LUT to give us that starting base. And then we adjusted the gamma exposure and then we added a look and pull down the highlight. And then we sharpen up the image and then crush the blacks and add a mask to pull the subject out from the background. So that is my color grading process in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you find it somewhat helpful. Um, let me know if you have any other questions down below and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I post a lot more filmmaking related content over there. So you don't want to miss out on that. And other than that, uh, I will see you next time. Bye.